Hello everyone, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to download and install Java 17 version from scratch. So this is very, very important thing we are going to learn guys. Uh, okay, so let me quickly start. So for, for that, what exactly we have to do guys? You must need to go to the, your Java official website. Now, suppose I'm searching Java official website, you can see this is a Java official website, which is named as a Oracle Java technology because in 2008, Oracle is already take over the Java organization, like which is named as a microsystem. So right now, Java is an official partner. Java is a subsidiary of the Oracle. So here you can see, I just landed on this uh, Java thing, guys. Okay, uh, this is an Oracle website. We we officially landed over here. Now I want to download the uh, particular respected Java version, like suppose Java 17. You can see, guys. I can see here Java 17 version. So you can click over here. Okay. You can click clicked over here and you you want you can able to download any version over here but suppose if you want to find out the all java version so what exactly we have to do guys you can see we have an option here java archive so simple you have to click on the java archive uh, link and once you click on the java archive link you can see guys you will get the all java versions which are listed over here you can see from scratch jdk 1.4 you can see the so latest version java 21 so all versions basically you can see over here so for that what exactly we have to do guys now you just need to simple click on the java 11 version so once you click on the java 11 version you have to scroll down and you can see java like jdk is available for different different platform like linux like mac operating system windows so guys please make a note of this kind please make a note of this point you have to download uh, this this windows X installer only not msi installer and not uh, compress search you just need to uh, install you need you just need to download this java uh, ins, uh, java windows x24 installer and once this is done you can see guys my file file is automatically downloading over here and once this is done let me quickly go to the download and you can see this is my installer guys here okay this is what this is what my installer over here so simple what you have to do guys you just need to double click over here and once you double once you are click on the double click over here your installer is automatically started over here once this is done now you have to click on the s folder you can see what exactly you have to do you have to click on the s but before uh, before downloading before downloading please make sure that you don't have any java version on your local machine if yes then you can you can you have to uninstall that version now you might have question sir can we able to multi install the multiple java version yes guys that also you can able to install okay but server side, if you'll have an older version, just remove that older version and you have to just click on the, you have to just install the new version. Once this is done, you have to click on this S folder, uh, yes file, uh, yes option you have to click. And if I'm going to minimize, you can see guys, my like, uh, installer window is going to open up over here. It will take some time and you can see it is installer. So now what exactly we have to do? We have to just simple click on the next button. Then again, we have to click on the next option. And you can see guys, my Java is automatically started the installation over here. Once this is done, you can see this is a successfully installed. My Java 17 version is successfully installed over here. Now we have to close this installer. Once I close this installer, now what is the next term guys? Next action item we have, we must need to go to the our environment variable and we must need to make sure that everything is properly, uh, we, we must need to make sure that everything is properly set over here so what we have to make sure we must do to make sure that like our java home path is properly set over here now you can see guys my java like this path we have to set if you don't have to like if you don't have this variable you just need to click on the new button if you'll have a, this variable and it is pointed to the older version simple you have to click on this edit version and you have to go to the your c drive program files then you have to go to the your java files and you have to go to the your JDK 11 and once this is done, you have to copy this path only and you have to paste it this path here guys. Okay, this is how you can able you have to paste it this path over here. Once you have to click on the OK button, you can see my Java is pointed over here. Once this is done, then another thing is path name. So if I'm going to click over here, this is the Oracle path name we have. You have to set this path name as well. If you don't have this path name, simple you have to go to the uh, what guys you have to go to the program files common files and then you have to go to the oracle and then again you have to go inside the uh, java files and again java path you have to copy this path here like this 
and you have to paste it that part here if if you don't have you just need to add that part that's it this is what exactly the thing we have to add and once this is done you have to make sure that like our java is successfully installed or not so how we are going to make sure that guys simple we have to open the java command prompt over here and once this is done i have to open up i have to fire the command java hyphen hyphen version this is the command we have to fire once this is done you can see guys I'm getting uh okay okay the command is wrong here okay we are rich okay this is a command we have okay if I'm pressing enter button over here now you can see guys my Java is properly pointed out to the 17 version if I'm going to find out where is my Java located so simple I'm just finding out where is Java okay where Java I'm finding the command and you can see guys you will get a proper path over here here is your Java path so this is how basically we can able to find out now once we install the java we can able to run our program as well you can see guys what exactly we have to run i'm simply open the IntelliJ idea and once this is done it's going to open just wait for a couple of minutes okay and you can see like my uh, java is successfully open up over here now i'm just simply creating a one of the class over here okay what i'm i'm, I'm simply creating guys one of the class i'm just creating like basic of java you can see let me click the right click. Uh, let me write down basic of Java. Okay, so this is what exactly I'm just writing down the program, and I'm just I'm just writing down the main method over here, and I'm just writing down system dot 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 print tell and hello learner happy new year okay this is what exactly i'm just pasting guys here okay and if i'm going to run my program you can see guys i can able to run my program here also successfully within java 17 version but it's it's compiling now it's not run it and finally it's run it and you can see guys it is running on the java 17 version you can see the versions of uh, also properly appeared over here okay this is what exactly i want to tell you so this is how exactly we can uh, download uh, and install the version from an official website which is named as Oracle. Then we can able to set the environment variable. We can set the uh, path of the path in the environment variable. And even we can able to create a new program and we can able to run that program as well with the help of the Java 17 uh, version. Okay, this is what exactly I want to tell you guys. Thanks, thanks for watching this.